Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how the Freezer Full Power or the Last Ditch Attack Strength Ala Freezer Full Power performs in the Cell Max event after his Extreme Z Awakening. So as you guys know, obviously I try my best to evaluate the units in what's considered the hardest content. Uh, so usually with main or featured units uh, or featured unit EZAs, try to try them out in you know, Red Zone and the Cell Max event if they are kind of generic EZAs, just try them out in whatever stage they are suitable for. But yeah, generally speaking it's nice to just get a look at how well they do in a lot of events. Uh, and the Strength Full Power Freezer recently got his easy aim. Now, as you guys know, the Cell Max event is not the best event to evaluate how well a unit does. Uh, the Cell Max event is very much quite a difficult event, uh, whereby it's mainly beaten by taking on Evasion. Cell Max uh, has two preliminary phases, the Strength phase and the Physical phase, Neither of which are traditionally too hard. Uh, the physical phase can catch some people out with its AoE attacks, but generally speaking, uh, both phases of the event, or the first two phases, are not too hard comparatively to things like Red Zone, uh, whereas the final phase is against the hardest boss in the game. So, full power freezer, it's going to be interesting to see how well he does. Uh, we'll talk through his passive, we'll talk through the team you can put him on, and we'll talk through his links. And then obviously we'll just kind of see how he does in the final phase. So full power freezer, he leads the full power category 150%. He raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy while sacrificing 5% HP. He also greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. He has key plus 4 and attack and defense of 120% and he has an additional defense of 40% when performing a super attack and has attacks effective against all types if it is an ultra super attack. He will gain 2 key and attack of 40% when HP is 80% or less plus an additional key plus 2 and attack of 40% when HP is 60% or less. He will also perform a critical hit when HP is 40% or less and he will disable the in attack enemy's action once within the turn if HP is 40% or less when attacking once only. Now in terms of his overall links, he's got Prodigies, Universal, Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Big Bad Bosses, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle and Legendary Power. Uh, of all those links the most important probably being Big Bad Bosses uh, and Universal's Most Malevolent uh, as those are your most common and consistent attack and defense links. In terms of category, he's on Planet Dynamic Saga, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Terrifying Conquerors, Final Trump Card, Inhuman Deeds, Space Traveling Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Sworn Enemies, and Battle of Fate. Generally speaking, uh, I find that as a unit, he is okay. He does very good damage. Uh, my freezer has one dupe, so I have my freezer at 69%. He does very decent damage. Uh, he can do some pretty solid numbers, but in terms of defense, he's obviously only really got the majority of his defense after he super attacks, and that can cause him quite a lot of problems, uh, especially in an event like this, uh, where to be honest with you, unless the unit in the first slot survives, you kind of have no chance of realistically taking on this event because it is uh, quite inherently difficult. But yeah, generally speaking, I find that Freezer doesn't do too great uh, in the Cell Max event. And in terms of hard content, Red Zone, etc., I find that he doesn't do too well at all, really. Uh, generally, he struggles a lot with the fact that just even after super, his defense is not necessarily super duper high. Uh, his defense, generally speaking, is around only slightly higher than his initial defense, because he only gains 40%, uh, 
and he will greatly raise on his ultra. So if his defense is sitting at 160, generally speaking that 160 turns into roughly around 280k, uh, which isn't bad, it's not bad, but it can struggle in these super hard events, uh, especially if you only have one dupe. Now if you've got big bad bosses active that can shoot up to around 300k, if you've got defensive equips and you stick a rainbow unit in there if you give him the other bit of defense from his passive then yes you will actually see pretty decent tanking from him you might see him take single digits but he will not survive a super attack uh, not in the cell max event and probably not in red zone either but Frieza looks good from a damage perspective I think he can do a lot of damage generally speaking you're going to be very low in some of these events and maybe just maybe uh, you can get Frieza to kind of really look impressive by scoring the finishing blow as a floater. Uh, I wouldn't suggest keeping him as a main rotation unit, but as a floating unit uh, or a unit that, yeah, in essence, is just there to dish out a huge amount of damage, Frieza can definitely be that guy, uh, which I think is very, very good. So we have his best situation here by the way, uh, we have a front slot tank for him, we're going to have a max key, uh, we're also going to have him in the second slot, we've got his, one of his best linking partners on rotation, who's also giving him huge bonus support as well. So we're going to see just how good this Freezer does. So this is the absolute ideal situation for Freezer. one dupe, uh, no big bad bosses active, but that's about it. 6.5 million good attack set very very solid and 92k not terrible uh, with big bad bosses active you know maybe you're looking at him taking around 40k per super I mean per normal which is actually fine uh, 40k is more than fine cell max hits at around 550,000 Obviously it's very important to note that Freezer in this state here does have support, did have a very good setup, but generally speaking, uh, he looked pretty good. I think you know his defense does shoot up quite nicely after that super. Here you can see Big Bad Boss is active, uh, but he's going to take attacks before he super attacks, and you're gonna see that that obviously will affect him quite negatively. Uh, two, be fully transparent no unit on this rotation would survive this turn uh, so this isn't like a knock on freezer but it's just to show uh, basically him in every kind of foreseeable situation and then we get super unlucky uh, and he actually gets super uh, which you know is 1.6 million damage so very very nice but yeah uh, yeah overall I think freezer is okay uh, I think if you want to use him, use him as a floater. Uh, he could deal some big damage floating around, possibly tanking the normals relatively well enough, uh, and his damage might come in clutch. But that's it for me. Bye.